Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the last video of ServiceNow HRST, we have discussed about these topics COE, topic detail, topic category and HR services. It is the fundamental guys, so you have to go through this video before watching this video. In this video, we are moving ahead and we are discussing about the services. Under HR administration, you see HR service configuration, open it. You see here, we already discussed this, but let me open this service one more time. If I ask you a question like uh, who is going to use these services or who is going to order these services. So the answer will be it can be HR agent, it can be a HR directly or it can be a user. And from any source or from anywhere, if any of these person order the service or like uh, request the service, it will ultimately comes into the HR case table under any of the COE that you already know. For example, this service is related to benefits. So from anywhere, if someone requests this service, the request will come into this COE table that is HR total reward case. So same case with other services as well. But how the HR and HR agent are going to use this service? So they will come directly here and open a HR case by using create new because they have access to this application okay under HR case management and click on create new case because they have the access but in case if the user want to use this then how the user will do that so the answer is here the user will acquire or request this service using this record producer and how the user getting this record producer yes as soon as we install the HR applications the HR service catalog is also available so let me show you if you go to the catalogs here, you see HR, Human Resource Service Catalog is available. So if you open this, these all are the services from the HR department which are opening for the users. So the users come here, open it and uh, create the HR case from here using any of these record producers. Okay, so let me open this one. Select any of it. Okay, do it. Click on Submit. You see, ultimately an HR case is created, that is HR1016. So this is how ServiceNow manages uh, the request creation part, okay? So we have the service catalog, but along with service catalog, you have the employee center as well. You click on this. You see, this is the employee center. This is also one of the portal. So you can add the popular categories which you want in this particular employee center so that the user Instead of creating it from service catalog, they can do it. So this is it for today's video guys. In this video, I wanted to show you how different different roles can access the request and request the request. So if you like the videos, like it and share it with your buddies so that they will also understand the process of HRST. Thank you so much. Bye bye.